So today I'm gonna go over uh, traps or shrugs. So um, a lot of people get into doing traps with barbells. So um, barbell shrugs are great, um, but you have to do the form correctly. And um, personal preference, I like dumbbells a little bit better. Uh, so I'm gonna go over the reasons why. So uh, say this is just a barbell. So you're gonna hold it roughly about shoulder width apart. So a lot of the things that I don't like about the barbell is realistically you gotta lean over a bit, let your shoulders kinda of hang, and then you're shrugging back. You gotta feel that your shoulders roll, back, roll front and roll back. So you're just letting the weight control. Control the weight on the way down and let your shoulders kind of come down, feel that stretch, and then you're shrugging in behind the neck. Roll forward, shrugging behind the neck. But you're stuck in this plane, which is the reason I do not like a barbell. So if we easily come over here, grab dumbbells. So now that gives us a lot more range of motion. So again, let the weight kind of pull your shoulders down in front of you. Pull, and notice I got a lot more freedom than where my shoulders go now. And there's no bouncing, I'm not like doing this. And I'm just, I'm not bouncing it this way. There's a lot of control. So up, down. So a lot of people think, that the trap is just this part. That's the visible part from the front, but from the back, realistically, the trap, go ahead having a diagram. So if you look at the, basically the back, you're looking at the shoulder and then down to the hips. The trap is a real, like it's almost in the shape of a triangle up here. So it starts up here, goes down to the shoulder, and it meets just down into the, kind of the mid back right in the, where the shoulder blade is and goes directly up the spinal column. So it stretched all the way out, and then it comes all the way up. So obviously you can't see it with my shirt on, but it's a bigger muscle than a lot of people think. It helps with scapular retraction. Obviously it helps with uh, scapular retraction upward. It brings the shoulder up towards the neck, but it, to stretch it, it's just not down straight this way. You gotta roll a little bit forward because it's a part of the back. So you want full range instead of just up, down like this. That's like a partial. So that's the reason I particularly like doing a dumbbell shrug over a barbell shrug. Um, so you see some people do it underhand grip, same sort of thing. They're just shrugging up and down. Again, you're putting a lot of, a lot of basically unwanted tension on the rotation of your, basically your forearms and your your humerus up into the shoulder capsule, because realistically all you're doing is shrugging up. So changing your shoulder this way or that way isn't gonna change much because the trap is in behind. So it has nothing really to do with where your arm is. Um, you're just giving that more range of motion with a dumbbell, okay? So for um, traps, realistically, I would only do it one day a week. Um, because realistically, it's gonna get hit a little bit on your back day. Um, most people will do it on their shoulder day um, or their back day, but train it like just like any other body part. So you don't have to train it three, four times a week. You're just doing it one day a week or maybe the two days a week if you do a double, double uh, week split. Um, so looking at it set wise and rep wise, I would train it like any other muscle. So. Um, I wouldn't go crazy heavy with it that a lot of people do. Pick a weight that you can control the weight, do the proper form, and not just basically bouncing it, using momentum. So you want to do it in a way that you can, you always want to control the weight. You're not letting the weight control you. So using momentum, you're just moving weight. But when you're controlling the weight, you're utilizing the muscle, you're getting the most tension and most, uh, basically most progress that you can put on the muscle and where you want it to grow. So um, rep wise, I don't really count reps. I just go into the, the muscle fatiguing. 
and form starts to break. Um, sets, I would do a regular three to four sets, um, like any other muscle group, um, and regular uh, rest. So I'm not a big guy that likes a long rest. Um, I like probably 60 seconds, 90 max. Um, I always go on the feel of how your body feels. So in between my sets, um, if I think I'm starting to lose a pump or um, I'm just feeling like I'm fully recovered, I'm ready for another set, I jump back in. So there's not a lot of rest when I work out. Um, I don't do a lot of talking. I think it's a waste of your time. You're in here to work out, get your job done, and get in here and get it done. So 